In addition to its standard 3.5 mm TRS output, the Wireless Go 2 features a digital audio output via the USB-C port on the receiver. This allows you to plug it directly into a computer, perfect for everything from making Zoom calls to recording video presentations. To get started, all you'll need to do is plug the Wireless Go 2 receiver into the USB port of your computer using one of the three supplied SC20 cables. If your computer only has USB-C inputs, you'll need to use a USB-C to USB-C cable, such as the SC16. This is how you charge the Wireless Go 2's internal batteries, but your computer will also recognize it as an audio device, essentially turning it into a USB audio interface. Once you've plugged the receiver into your computer, turn it on by pressing and holding the power button. Then do the same for the transmitter. Out of the box, the Wireless Go 2 receiver and transmitters will pair automatically. But if you ever need to reconnect them, simply press and hold the pair button on the receiver for three seconds, then click the power button on the transmitter. If you are just using one transmitter to record your audio, make sure you are in merged recording mode by pressing and holding these two buttons on the receiver. When there is no channel number next to the output level meter, you are in merge mode. This will ensure the signal from the microphone is sent to both the left and right channels on the output. You can also do this in Rode Central, the companion app for the Wireless Go 2 that allows you to activate and control a range of features. Now that they're connected, go to your computer's audio preferences or settings and select Wireless Go 2 RX as your input device. Now your computer will use the transmitter as its microphone. Being a wireless mic, the Wireless Go 2 is perfect for capturing video on a computer when you need to stand a little further back from the camera, like recording a class or lecture, or giving a presentation for work. Whatever software you choose to use, make sure the Wireless Go 2 RX is selected as the audio input device in the software settings. If you need to communicate with people on the other end of the call, you could use some wireless headphones like these Apple AirPods for a completely wireless <laughs> audio setup. Something like that? Perfect. You could also use your Wireless Go 2 to record a podcast straight into your computer using software like GarageBand or any other digital audio workstation. Again, simply go to your software's audio preferences and select Wireless Go 2 RX as your input device. Thanks for watching, guys. If you need any more info on the Wireless Go 2, click on the links in the description for more videos on what this versatile wireless mic has to offer. Like and subscribe, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Or will I?